Hello people YouTube, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to uh, Pixelated Golfers. This is the Honda Classic, which is the tournament that's currently being played. Oh, I actually see that um, Tommy Fleetwood is 5 under. This is the, the third round. In fact, this is the round I'm about to play, so... 4 under par, Brendan Steele, Luke Donald, Lee Westwood. Uh, well, Donald and Westwood are 3 under. Brendan Steele's 4 under. Berger's two under par. So they're not really shooting very low scores. So we are currently three ahead and we've still to play this round. So I don't think we're gonna match the the difficulty of the course. The course is playing difficult, but I struggled the first round. I had an even par. Um I I was on last night live and I, the the plan was to play another round uh, later on. But I was so tired, I was I was uh, up early for my work. Um, it was quarter past five to half ten yesterday. Came home, uh, chilled for about an hour or so, and then went out my bike. I did a 12 mile bike ride. Um, so, pretty um, pretty tiring day. Let's get this round loaded up. Uh, so, I was pretty tired. I did my round, but I was just I, I was thinking of streaming uh, the third round, but I, I just I just felt really tired. My eyes were starting to get that kind of dry way, and I just felt really tired. So basically, I'm on at the moment. I'm going to do this round. I'm going to record it and then maybe do my my live round later tonight. <laughs> so th things are going good. Uh, we're heading off to Italy on Tuesday. So I'm going to get the Pixelated Golfers week set up. I won't be playing, I possibly could do the, the Pro-Arm. Um, Hello ladies and gentlemen, but I'm not going to be playing TGC Tours, so I'm just so but happy I'm that I could play TGC Tours. Because that starts Network. today, the and new week. And gentlemen, this but I don't know, I, it's, I, I feel event. that it's just it's forcing it a lot. Right if I've got time hole, tomorrow and I can action. do it, then I'll probably, I might do it, but whether I play the pro arm or do T TGC tours, because if I make the cut, I've got to you know play on. So I don't know. I probably better just taking a week off. I think. Uh, I'm probably just gonna hit this three wood because I think this will give us a decent number into the pin. So we played well here yesterday. Yeah, uh, the first round we struggled, but the, the winds were quite high uh, for the first round. Certainly for me they were. So just going to chill, yeah, this is about a relax, five yard shot play a pin. good round. It's actually quite funny. Um, I've been doing a lot of live streaming and it's it's good and I enjoy it, but I quite like going back to the old school way of just recording. Uh, as I say, my computer is still down, and it probably won't be up up and running for for a long time, and it's probably going to be a new computer. So, um, I'll need to really look into that. But I'm actually quite enjoying this. You don't have as much in the way of control, uh, minus a computer. Okay, that's not bad. That's that's going to give us a, a chance in birdie at least in the first hole. Fairly lengthy putt ahead. Okay, a little bit of break on it. We should make this. Oh. Whoa! Just missed. This putt's looking to be about two feet. So we've got quite a lot of prep to do for the holiday. We're only away for a couple of days. It's, it's like three full days. Yeah, starting the round so we fly out Tuesday, but we're back bad. Saturday night or something, or Saturday whenever so we've got like uh, Wednesday Thursday Friday in Venice so and now let's move to the second hole I think with it with this coronavirus it it's kind of took the edge off the holiday a little bit because there's a lot of I mean we're probably I, I mean I don't really know what it's almost like cancel the holiday have a week off work and then go back to work or to, to go the holiday and then probably self-isolate just because there's maybe a chance for two weeks. 
because I've not actually been off my my work. I've been there like two two and a, two and a half years, and I've not had a single day's absence. So, you know, whether I just say, well, I'll just take two weeks off, sick, and self isolate. Because at the end of the day, I mean, I don't want to not go a holiday just because. I mean, I know people say, oh, it's risky, you shouldn't go. That needs to come over a little bit. But I'm actually looking forward to the holiday. Oh, kick over. Kick, 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 kick. Ah. And I doubt he's very happy about that shot. But yeah, trials and tribulations of uh, living a life is. Uh, they can throw up curveballs at times. Right, we're gonna maybe just pump this up a little bit. I don't want to overrun the the hole. Oh, that's short. Damn. Oh, I didn't think it was gonna be as short as that, but probably the percentage. I should have looked at it. So that this is actually yep. This is the first round of the day, so I expect these first couple holes to be a little bit, maybe not the best. I need to bite, I need to bite, I need to bite. Oh, well, it's going to be one of those. It's probably going to be a downhill by the looks of it. Yeah, that pretty easy. Yeah, so I, I had a really good bike ride yesterday. Hole, really strong winds. I had a headwind heading out. Uh, which is really difficult. And I think what happened, that took a lot of my energy it's source. For the par five hole. Get into that headwind. But coming back was a breeze, obviously, but um felt good. You know, it was a good little run I had. I'm kinda ramping up. Uh, I bought I did buy a, a waterproof jacket which was well let's just say it wasn't cheap. But cycling stuff isn't cheap. Like a, a lot of stuff, a lot of like sporting activities. Well, I think this one's gonna find a it's so expensive grass. but in the long run, this jacket's going to last me years, so... And it's going to keep me 100% waterproof as well, and breathable, and From windproof, here, so it, it's basically... The pin. It's like this mag... Uh, magical? <laughs> it's this magical Gore-Tex material, so it's... It's going to do a job. I actually came up with... <laughs> just when I think about it, I came up with a word... I was in the town... I think we're coming back from Widdles or going to Widdles. I can't remember when I, I said it. I think I was going to Widdles, crossing the road, and I says that that car came up quast, which was a, a, a that's basically combining two words, quick and fast, quast, which I thought was quite smart actually. I don't think it'll ever really become popular, but it was just one of those words that came out and it came out wrong. I was thinking quick, but thought fast. Uh oh, this is this is no, not no, gonna be good. Fast. Speaking of fast. Yep. And uh not the greatest Come on, swing let's on that approach. Try and get, get a grip here. Unfortunately not enough club, I think. I really do not play well the first like, nine holes that I play usually. I just like to get in and play, you know, I don't I don't like. I, I should really have a bounce game on nine holes just to get warmed up. Finishing this hole with a solid putt. But this is a nice course. It's a difficult course. And after that hole, one under for the day. Ooh. See that? I think that's caught me a few times. That's a par five. And next up is a par four, folks. Right. So we we do get a birdie. We get we get a surprise birdie, which is always the best birdie. I'm gonna play a big bender on this. This could be risky, but I want to get it really turning. Come on, cut a little. That should be good. Yep, that's fine and like dandy. That. And about a buck ten to the pin from here. Uh, 
Yeah, that's going to be about 120 on the numbers. So probably 122. Take a little bit off it. I kind of want to be aggressive this round. I really want to be... Ah, that's still a little bit shy. It's not that bad though. Pops on a Andy's little, which is always green. good. And this putt is for birdie. Now that... <laughs> This putt could be quite deceiving because we're going to be hitting the putt with speed over that initial part where the break is. I don't really think it's going to move much. And folks, this could be the one. Yeah, yeah it did move a little bit actually, but it doesn't really... Hey, but in the left side, it didn't really catch the edge, the so we were okay. Yeah, that also so two under part. Place on the leaderboard. Okay, let's oh, see what I meant to check the leaderboard there actually. I'll check the leaderboard after this. It's a difficult one. Probably, I, I think, I think three iron should be good. And here's a Just don't iron. hit it fast. Oh, and I think the shot might, have done. might have a bit okay. too much club. Yeah, it's not the worst. And that one is on the green with quite a bit of real estate to make up on that next putt. Right, downhill. But we'll take a little bit off it just for insurance purposes. I don't want it running by the hole too much. Just missing here. Yeah, it turns, it turns, it turns. Right, we've got an indication of the, the break bar. Yeah, we, we've hit that too hard. And for the par. There's me saying I'll, I'll take a little bit off for insurance purposes. Ooh, oh, that was very, very close. Man. Oh, oh that's a, a bogey. I don't know. I some tells me I bogeyed this hole yesterday. I can remember bogeying a hole. I can't remember if it was this one. Damn, that's, that's annoying. Just a little bit too aggressive from that, that, that putt. And we did see we were going to take a bit off it for insurance. But and now we find ourselves on the sixth hole tee up. Oh, I meant to check the leaderboard. Sorry. Me bad. Okay, let's just just turn it over a little bit, just a little draw. We do get this one perfect, perfect. And uh, a fast there could have been like quite nasty. We'll have some fairway here potentially. Okay, about 165 yards to the pin. It's looking good. Looking good. Oh, it needs to bite though, it needs to bite. Uh, it's going to trickle by. It doesn't look as if there's much break up that top part. Maybe just a slight break from the... Yeah, about 17 feet from the, the left cut. going to the pin. Yeah, there's not a huge... Not a huge amount, but it is going to turn, that's the thing. Oh, mm, just, it's just turned a here. little bit. Uh, and this putt's for par. I always feel that kind of putt shouldn't break as much. And that putt but you're hitting the putt quite slow, so the break is going to affect and just that a little bit more. Under for the day. So here's the leaderboard. Jeff Cobb 7 is 11 under par through 13 holes. Uh, he's 31 under par total. How, how, blah, blah, blah. Howling Wolf. I always have trouble saying some words. Uh, 7 under par. Through 14, 27 under. One bar mf 87 is 8 under. He's 26 under par total. Uh, I'll just tell the totals. Uh, Honey Bear is. And it disappears. Honey Bear is 24 under. T3ZR, 23 under. Addy, 6965, 22 under. Deacon, 20 under. Take a 390, 16 under. And we are kind of. Quite a few behind him at nine under. Buster forty three there, eight under. And the wind definitely could so be. We, we did on have a bad first round though. Tee shot goes. 
Right, 213. Oh, okay, it's one of these numbers for me that's... I'm going to hit... I'm going to hit this cob. I'm, I don't know, I just take a little bit off it, which I think I should do. Going with the three too iron. much. Uh, a little bit more. Let me find the front. Right, chip. To be honest, I'm I think I prefer chipping. Shot. Not enough club on that one. I think that's that. Uh, uh, you 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 feel sometimes uh, when you make a course. I might just go nine and just hit it full. Uh, you feel sometimes a, a good course designer will actually build a course and be and to save the power. have an idea of club numbers like distances because it's a good way to protect a course. You know, if you've got if it's two fourteen yards and your club's going to go two fourteen, you've got to you're in between clubs. It's it's quite a good way of, of making a course and putting that element of oh that was oh, so I didn't so break. close. Put that element in where. You know, it's not comfortable off Five the tee. You've got to maybe modify to your shot a little bit. It's a good way of protecting and that drops for bogey. So bogey at another par three. Okay, and uh, staying right there in ninth place. It's a bit even par hole. now. A uh, bit of a bit of a shaky start, but that is the first nine okay, holes. Okay, we find of ourselves the now in the eighth hole tee off. Yeah, three wood here. We're probably going to run out of real estate if we hit the driver. It's looking like this is bound for the short stuff. This is probably going to put us right up there anyway. And about 120 yards out from here. One twenty. Wind's gonna catch it though. I'm gonna go 108 and D loft. I feel that's the plate. This could be good. It's oh, bite. The green here. Bite! Bite! Not bad. This one looks about uh, four feet. For the birdie. Easy peasy lemon squeeze it. And nothing so, changes for them after that hole. We get back to one under par. And now setting up for the next par four hole. Alright, a little draw here would be quite nice. Not too much, just enough. Just get it turning over. I do play a lot more shots now with the uh, with and the I'm draw. Not quite sure where this one's gonna end Easy. up. Oh, get a kick over. Kick. Yeah. Difficult. Uh, but yeah, I do play with a lot of, uh, you know, fades and draws now. I never used to. I didn't didn't do it as much. Okay, one hundred. Um, blah, 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 numbers. I don't know how this is going to react out this rough. Oh, it's coming up yeah, very fast. We're going to get away with it, I think. It's going to actually come back as well, which is going to help. That was really a bad shot that's uh, ended up pretty good, so. And he's not probably too bad. Like that. And this for the birdie. Come on, get in the hole. And a nice putt. Whew. And two under for the day after that one. So two under par. Let's check the scorecard for the front nine. Yeah, a couple of bogeys. I mean, two bogeys and two par threes. Uh, the rest of it's been, been pretty decent. Take those two bogeys away from four under, so. Right, back nine. Let's try and, and now let's up try for the par four. get a decent number here. 
Let's try and hit, hit the numbers. Be reasonably accurate. Let's get a good score. And this drive could go on for days, that, folks. Is that, is that this is some serious power. Hey. Oof. I tell you, that was closer than I wanted. Quite a few holes that, that, that are really good off the tee. You know, you've got to put a, a little bit of draw or a fade on go. it or something. And you can get out of position quite easy. This is a long par 4. 226 yards to the pin with a wind. It's kind of in between. I'm going to put a loft on it. I don't think it's really going to make much difference. Come on, baby. This might be long. Oh, it could be good if it hits that rough, bounces out. And that's not too bad. That actually took a little that break. And I think he that was a good breaking point for that, that ball. Just slowed it down. Feet out. Right, well, I need to look at the. I need to do risk assessment after the. Yeah, there's no yellows or reds, but it it does gently go slope away. So we need to be. It's it's five inches down as well. So we need to be a little bit careful with this. I want to maybe try and hold it, but I don't want to be like super aggressive. Ooh, oh, that, was, uh, that was very close. See how much that rolls. I mean that. I mean that wasn't too bad a putt, but again, we're probably actually just a little bit aggressive. Yeah, about 16 feet to the cup from here. I mean, we almost hold it. Oh, this is missable. This is missable. Ooh, yeah. And that one will drop. It was a fairly easy putt, to be honest. I don't think it was like and after that one sitting at two under terrible four difficult, but it, it, it could have been missed quite easy. Okay, let's go. Come on, pass okay, to start with. Now Not bad. On to the 11. So the wind is in our face. We should be okay with that. Maybe just a slightest of draws. Phenomenal power. A wavy swing one. line, but it uh, seems to be doing okay. And from 165 yards. Yeah, we've got a fantastic lie here. So 13 into the wind, that's going to basically give us at least. I think that should be pretty good. Come on, baby. It's looking good. It's online. Have we got the numbers? Whoo! Nope. And wow, that was no shot. Ended up in the Jeez. Water. Um, just waiting to see if he'll re-hit or take the drop. Wow, that was so short. Oh, okay, well, that was a good swing. It was, it was straight, but... Go with this and we'll, we'll choke it down a little. Ah, oh, it's disappointing, man, because we're really. Yeah. I don't know. I, it, it's almost as if. And that approach has maybe I just miscalculated my, quite my distance. Far but away from the hole at this point. Oh, this is, this is for a bogey, so this could be dangerous. Double bogey, if we get this in. for double bogey. That yeah, I mean... I could have set up for, for a fantastic hole. We were right on wide, we just didn't have the, the distance. For him, that also means I think we miscalculated, I don't know. I don't know how or why, but we've now found ourselves back at even part. And moving along, now on the 12th hole. I think we need the uh, the Dark Lord shot, the old Darth Vader. 
And that was a powerful, powerful drive. I used to bend. I'm not putting enough bend on. It's going to run out of fairway. See, that's what I mean. There's, there's a lot of holes like this where the, you really do need to hit quite an accurate tee shot. A good lie, but... I'm going to hit that. I'm going to put a waft on it. Bite, bite, bite! It's not bad. It's going to give us at least half, half a half attempt at birdie. a, a birdie. It's actually not too bad. It's going to give us a good chance at birdie, actually. It does break a little, though. I've been quite gingerly with it. Boom! And that putt will drop. Come on. There's Back to one under. One under for the day. I don't think we're going to get a really low number here. I think we're going to be maybe four under, three, maybe four, right, five, six under par. Maybe on the thirteenth hole here. If we can squeeze in a couple more birdies, yeah, I'm just going to blast this. I don't care how far this goes. I'm just going to old John Daly grip it and rip it. Well, so far so good for this one. It's one of these holes that you can actually be a bit aggressive off the tee. But a lot of these holes you really do have to be quite precise and bend. Bend, bend the shot a little bit. This is interesting. A flop shot, the flop goes 42. But you do get a little bit extra roll so I'm just going to deal off the touch. And hit a full shot. And hopefully we get some run. Yeah, we could maybe deal off to that a little bit more. And a couple of yards and that, that would have been perfect. Off the tee. Oh, here we go. Come on, go, 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 Okay, and let's uh, have a look at the leaderboard. So move All that to right. the car. And uh, they'll stay in ninth place. So we're still in the one leaderboard under. after that hole. Yeah, quite a few people not shooting. I mean, 14 under par days, that's a fantastic score. And 10 under as well, 9 under there, 8s, 9s. Oh my god, this cat's going up nuts. I don't know what he's doing. Four, he's playing with his ball. He, he brings a little sponge ball and plays fetch. I don't know if you heard that, he does look at it, it's like a weird growl, it's almost like, I, I really don't know, it's hard to explain, Vader's quite, he's, uh, he's different, I'll say that. And from 165 yards out. Okay, the wind's going to bring it back a little. 165, 175. I'm gonna go 183 and put a bit of waft on it. Hopefully, we get enough length. Oh, well, that's six iron. that's a snap hook. And uh, this one's a bit long here. Yeah. Six iron is a bit too much. <sighs> that was horrible. Unlucky on that approach shot. Seems to me the wind may have gotten a hold of that shot. This is, we're going to get a little bit more out of this, so we need to be careful. Maybe we need to go a bit there. Maybe we need to go a little bit more. Oh, God. Yeah. No, 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 no. feet. I think my challenge is against the pro. Oh come on, that was shot again. My challenge is against the and pros. This one's so more I'm the bogey. Oh, I'm going back to even part. Now let's take a look at the leaderboard. 
They'll stick to ninth place. It's an interesting course. Is there is a lot of uh, a lot of trouble. So we're actually technically at the moment we're three point. ahead of Tommy Fleetwood. So we could be taking a little bit of a a lead going into the final round. But against Pixelated golfers, we're good. We're not doing too well. So what we got? Eleven. I feel like a 160 should be good. Going with the 8 iron. Ah, oh, that's a fast again. It's going to be a bit long. See, I've actually, I'm not trusting my numbers now because that last shot I hit, I was short. And he's got to be happy. And I feel with now that. I don't want to be well, 32 too feet short, so I'm, I'm kind of overhitting stuff. Oh, it's went by. Yep. Classic scenario. I'm just I'm overhitting parts. I'm underhitting parts. I just can't seem to get getting that groove. And finishing this one. Yeah, goes in though. And he's gonna stay right there at even par after that hole. And for him, that also means eighth place on the leaderboard. Oh. That's not, this is a fantastic hole. Um, you know, you can't... I mean, the driver's like... Oh, I'm tempted just to hit the driver, but... Yeah, let's just go for it. In fact, go back. We need to put a little bit of a draw on it. I'm not going to put any extra cheese on it. I just want to hit it normal. Yeah, this one's close call. This could be oh, in the rough. Oh, when he says that. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, dear. And this lie is, is currently in the rough. Oh, dear. Not a bad number, though. I think, we should, I think this club's going to be okay. Come on. Set. Yeah, pretty decent. Pretty decent. And I think he will be happy with that. This putt's for birdie. Okay, a little bit of a... A little cuff to this one. And I oh, just... That was, that was oh, very close. That sums up my round. Ooh. <laughs> and about six feet to go here. And the Sums up my mind. Drops. Not a good putt that. Really did. He's going to stay right. Kinda didn't is, commit to it. After that hole. Even par. Okay, and moving on to the 17th now. <sighs> this is a fantastic hole. I mean, it's like you take the 17th at. Uh, oh my God. I've just totally sawgrass. You take you take the seventeenth at sawgrass, and you basically just put the tee further back, and that, that's that's really what this is. Um, not as much danger at the back, obviously, but you know sawgrass is a complete island, so it, it is a little bit different. But you've got the length. Wind's behind though, so it's playing about one seventy in the wind, ten foot down. Wait, I need to recalculate my numbers here. One seventy. I think. I think. I think a stock six iron, uh, eight iron. Sorry, is going to be enough. Balls of steel. This is a hit and hope. Here's Just hope your numbers are good. <laughs> oh jeez, man! I tell you one thing. That has to be one of the most nerve-wracking shots. six feet to go here. Because when you see that ball up and over that water, and you've got that kind of that perspective where you go, oh, this could be short, this could be short, this could be short, this... Yep! Oh, 
And that and is why I in. have Look great ears. That's fantastic, yeah, though, man. That, 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 kind of tea, that kind of hole is really... It's just a fantastic hole. Absolutely. I mean, if you think about it, if you've got, like... If you're winning a tournament and you maybe got like a short lead and you go into that hole, I mean, the pressure must be immense. And picking up on the 18th uh, hole You add that into, the, in, into the mix and the hole and the, the wind. Oh, it must be phenomenal. Okay, right, last hole, par five. You can certainly squeeze a bit of extra cheese in this, this boy. Well, that bunker. Looking like it's in the fairway. Oh, shut up. I mean, as soon as he says that, you know you're going to be in the rough. That was fine. That, that's dandy. That will do it. From here, 220 to the pin. It's not a bad number. Wind's helping out. Oh, Jesus, man. That... Well, to be honest, well, one under part. If things go wrong, well, they go wrong. It's a good number for us to hit that front edge a little bit. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna hit this stock. I'm not gonna change it. This is the three iron. I oh believe. my goodness! Yep, it was gonna bounce near the front. I was kind of wanting to hit that bank a little just to kill the shot. Yeah, not but the greatest approach shot there. Too much club. That's actually perfect. This is this is a really good chance to chip in here, I think. In fact, this is a fantastic chance to chip in. Can be aggressive with it as well. Yeah, just a little bit to the just a little bit off. <coughs> good opportunity that. This one's right around. Easily went in. Boom! That'll drop the birdie. Well, buddy, buddy, on what is, I think, a really good set of finishing holes. Um, so, quite happy with that. I mean, two under par, ain't fantastic. Does hold us, though, in ninth place. We're three ahead of uh, skatingism. Um, five behind uh, take a 390, and yeah, 24 behind uh, the leader. Um, some pretty good scores going on. Uh, Jeff Cobb seven there. First place T three Z R four R six seven is. Oh, I hate it when it well, updates. So he's four behind. Then Honey Bear, Howling Wolf is four under. One Bam at F eight seven, twenty seven under fifth. Addy six Deacon seventh. Take a three ninety eighth. We're ninth. Skatingism is tenth. Not bad. Let's check the scorecard. Yeah, again, you know, two bogeys. Four bogeys in that round. Disappointing. Uh, but a good strong finish over some, some difficult holes at the end there. So that is going to conclude this uh, video. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, click the like button. Hit subscribe if you haven't done already. I think I've actually... I went down to 377 subscribers. Then I went back up. Um... Got a couple of people added, in fact, let me just see, I'll get the, I'll maybe get the name, oh, I usually keep them, Jed Smith, in fact, he, he was in the uh, the chat the, the other day, Jed Smith sub subscribed, so, thanks for, uh, thanks for subscribing, buddy, it means a lot, so I'm back up to like 381 subscribers now, so, you know, the goal is maybe to get to that 400 would be would be ideal. Uh, I mean, one day I'd, I'd like to get a 1,000, but I, I don't know if I'll ever get to a 1,000, to be honest. But I should be live streaming round four later today or tonight, probably more tonight. Um, or maybe just after tea, I don't know. I'm, I'm not 100% sure. Um... But anyway, as I said before, thanks for watching this video. If you if you hear it at the end, uh, it's greatly appreciated. And, you know, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you later. Take care, and I'll catch you soon. Bye.